GameStop, Elon Musk, Tesla, Twitter, Facebook. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jermaine, back with another video. So this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm just going to talk about some current events that are going on. And, and let's just connect the dots here, all right? Let, let, let's just connect the dots. So first off, Robinhood. A lot of people are upset with Robinhood. And I put out a video. The last video I put out was a video of me talking about Robinhood and me talking, you know, showing my Robinhood account. And I answered a very simple question that I received over and over. Jermaine, are you going to leave Robinhood? My answer was no, I'm not going to leave Robinhood. And I thought I would use this video and expand a little bit while, while, while I'm not leaving Robinhood. And we can also talk about some, some other things that I think is going to happen after this that is that, that could actually be really, really good for Tesla and also Tesla shareholders. So first off, back to Robinhood. And I'm just going to really go into this while I'm not really leaving Robinhood. So first off, if you guys don't know, I've been on Robinhood for about five years. Really like the app. But anyway, that means absolutely nothing because it's very, very easy to leave and go to another app. First off, I don't know if anybody out there use margin, but a lot of people who trade, they use margin. Robinhood has a margin rate of 2.5% uh, interest right now. That's very cheap. That's pretty much the cheapest that, that, that I've found. Um, last time I checked the rates well, it was about a month ago, but that was about the cheapest I've found. A lot of the other brokers charge more. Okay. Now, I'm just throwing that out there because I'm not that big on margin. I do use, you know, less than about 25% of my account I use in margin just to, you know, make a little bit more money, especially if it's 2.5% interest. But I have a friend out there who has like a million dollars in his account and he uses margin and he has another account. Uh, I don't know if it's Fidelity or Schwab, but he says he pays like 5.5% interest on, uh, I think, $250,000. And I'm paying 2.5% interest. So this is, you know, one positive thing to start with Robinhood. You know, if, if you do use margin, like I know a lot of traders do use margin, it's a little bit cheaper with, um, or actually it's, it's almost half price with Robinhood versus, versus any other brokers. Now, this could change before Robinhood had free trading and Robinhood had the ups on the whole free trading. And then over time, all the other brokers, you know, made trading free as well. So maybe, um, you know, down the line, maybe maybe we'll see other brokers bring their margin rates down to 2.5%. But yeah, that's just one reason. That's a very, very small reason why I'm staying with, with Robinhood, by the way. That's not a really, really big reason. But for, for a lot of people, that could be a, a huge reason. Now, let's go back to last week. Last week on Thursday when Robinhood, or it appeared to be that Robinhood just cut off the switch to its retail investors. It looks like Robinhood just cut us off, right? Well, let's go back to Thursday. On Thursday, as people were unable to purchase GameStop and people were unable to purchase uh, AMC, Robinhood had the largest sign-up day of their history. Okay? So basically, what I'm trying to say here, I know a lot of people are leaving Robinhood. It's all over Reddit. Oh, I'm leaving Robinhood. I'm going to Charles Schwab. I'm going to Fidelity. I'm going to this. I'm going to that. I'm going to Webull. I sure hope you're not leaving Robinhood to go to Webull. I sure hope you're not leaving Robinhood to go to SoFi because they, they operate just like Robinhood. You might as well freaking stay at Robinhood than go to those brokers. Now, you know, Charles Schwab and Fidelity are going to be, you know, are going to be probably the better ones to go to if you do want to jump ship. But I kind of do see a problem with these brokers. These brokers, at least in the whole social media space, none of them have the, 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 the power that Robinhood has. And whenever someone shows a Robinhood screenshot on, 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 on the internet, whenever someone share one, I said show, but whenever someone shares one, people know what that is because you, you, everyone's just very, very, very familiar with the Robinhood app. But now there's all these other apps. And whenever I see someone post something from another app, I'm always looking like, well, what is this? You know, Robinhood has basically made the standard. But let's go back to last week. So Robinhood had a whole bunch of people signing up on Thursday. And they also blocked traders from purchasing a lot of different stocks. We're not going to go through this. Okay. So basically, this is one reason why I'm not mad at Robinhood. All right. So first off, you have all of these people signing up on Thursday. The same day that we we were not able to purchase shares. So they had like 177,000 signups, which was huge for Robinhood's history. Now, we actually don't exactly know what happened. I mean, just watching what the CEO said, you know, watching the different clips from, you know, his the, the video that came out on YouTube versus 
what came out last night on Clubhouse with Elon Musk. I mean, when you watch both of those videos, it makes you wonder, like, <laughs> I don't know. Basically, I mean, whenever I watch those interviews, I'm just like, I really don't know. If you're watching this from Robin Hood, please get someone who's really, really good with PR. Like, please get someone who's really, really good with talking to, uh, you know, people on camera uh, and have them talk and have them answer the difficult questions. Because, I, you know, I don't want to really say anything bad, but I, I don't have to say anything bad. Like, it's all over the Internet. Like, I really don't want to really get into it too much, but yeah, for the people that don't know what I'm talking about, like, I wanted to sort of fill in a little bit. I'm not trying to start a war with, like, you know, Robin Hood, but I think that Robin Hood is already is already fighting a, a larger war anyway, and I'm actually trying to help people stay with Robin Hood. I'm sort of defending Robin Hood, because I actually like Robin Hood as a platform. But on Thursday, however, you know, with all these people signing up, it's very difficult for... Robin Hood to keep all this money in the bank. It's very, very difficult for Robin Hood to keep this whole thing afloat when you have new people signing up with an account. And I don't know if you guys remember, but when you sign up with an account, you can do like instant deposit, but like an instant deposit is not exactly instant because you're basically borrowing the money from Robin Hood. Robin Hood on their hand had all these people signing up for these new accounts. But then also Robin Hood had all these people trading GameStop and they were trading GameStop like crazy and you know the, the broker has to put up like money for like two days and when you have all of these people trading all of these stocks like crazy and you have a lot of people literally going in and out of the market like in and out of the market well Robinhood has to like like have enough cash for two days for each one of those those stocks and all those transactions to go through. And I knew on like Wednesday, like I had I had multiple orders going through Robinhood. Like if I just go back and look at my email, like I can just scroll and scroll and scroll. And it's like Robinhood order, Robinhood order, Robinhood order. And th these were like, you know, expensive, expensive shares, like $300 a share, you know, you know, $10,000 here, $10,000 there, $8,000 here, $7,000 there, you know, just moving money back and forth. And there's a lot of people doing this. Well, this is going to tie up a lot of money in their little account. Or their really, really big account. And when you look at Robinhood's account, you almost want to sort of imagine your own bank account. You get paid from your job and you go to Starbucks and you buy coffee. And then you pay your T-Mobile phone bill. And then you pay your rent. And then before you go negative, you, you're getting more money from somewhere. You know, unless you're the type of person that you, you go negative like every month or you know, basically, that's kind of what happened to Robinhood. They had all of these new people signing up, all these new people trying to deposit money. <laughs> and not only are these people trying to, these new people trying to deposit money and, you know, spend the money really quick. You got people like me going in and out of the markets. And, and I'm just a small fish. Like, I'm pretty sure it was a whole lot of people on Reddit, you know, going in and out of the markets with $100,000. And if you're going in and out of the markets with $100,000, you could be tying up like a million dollars with Robin Hood in, in like one day. And I don't know how much money Robin Hood has on their, their books. But uh, yeah, you, you can quickly, Robin Hood can basically run out of money. So that's why on uh, Friday, Robin Hood got another billion dollars. And this is why people on Robin Hood was able to trade the next day because Robin Hood had a little bit more money in their bank account. And then guess what? They ran out of money again, or not necessarily ran out of money, but they got close to that limit because Robinhood, you know, came out with this whole list of 50 stocks that they were not basically letting people, you know, trade freely. And what I mean by trade freely, I'm talking about they had restrictions on a whole list of stocks. And this whole list was absurd because it was companies on that list that made no sense at all. Two companies I'm going to name. Beyond Meat was on that list. All right. Beyond Meat was never a mean stock. It, it was never a mean stock. Meat, Beyond Meat, and I have no idea why they put Beyond Meat on that list. And also another random company that they put, the, put on that list that, that's not a short stock at all. Maybe they put Beyond Meat on that list because maybe Beyond has somewhat of a large short interest. But they put General Motors on that list, you know? And I'm just sitting back like, this makes no sense. But once again, it goes back to their bank account, like... There is so much money going through their account that they, they just, you know, they're getting, they're adding new users. Now, I know a lot of people have left Robinhood, 
But it doesn't really matter if a lot of people left Robin Hood, yo. They're getting so many more people to sign up. And also, let's let, let's not forget about something, guys. Let's not forget about something. Robin Hood has an IPO coming up very soon. It's it's going to it's going to happen this year. It's probably going to happen within 2 to 3 months. They're going to have an IPO. And guess what? This is actually amazing for their IPO. This is freaking amazing for their IPO. The reason why I'm saying this is amazing for their IPO because people who have never heard about Robin Hood now they know about Robin Hood. They're like, really? You can trade stocks for free? You know how many people I talked to last week that, that never knew that you can trade stocks for free? They never knew that you can trade stocks for free. And now they've downloaded the Robinhood app. And they, they've got, you know, they got the Robinhood app. And they've, you know, got a little bit of GameStop. And they got this and got that and got this. And they're diversifying their portfolio. Yes, there are people actually doing this now. And this is amazing. Um, another thing that we have going on is let's not forget... We have a lot of pumping and dumping going on. We got a lot of new people entering the stock market, which is a good thing. A lot of new people entering the stock market because they see, yeah, you can make money. You can make money. But don't get me wrong. A lot of people are going to get burned. You know, a lot of these penny stocks that are getting pumped up on YouTube, eventually this game is going to cool out, right? And this is, one th this is one reason why I think Elon Musk is very, very happy. This is one reason why I think Elon Musk is very happy because I really believe – one reason why Tesla, while the stock price was able to go up like it was, is because large percent is because of retail investors. Retail investors buying shares of Tesla and keeping those shares and not selling them. That's why I believe Tesla has went up. And a lot of people shorted Tesla. There was a lot of hedge funds shorting Tesla. And guess what? Tesla kept going up. And whenever Tesla would go up, the short sellers would get short squeeze, short squeeze, and they would have to, you know, purchase shares of Tesla, and that would keep pushing Tesla stock up. I think this is one reason why Tesla is where it is today. And over time, it kept going up, it kept going up, and then more people just jumping on the bandwagon, and the, the price kept going up and kept going up. And now, it's an S and P five hundred company. So, what does this have to do with GameStop? What does Tesla have to do with GameStop? And what does Tesla have to do with Robinhood? Well. You know, Elon Musk, you know, had that the whole um, clubhouse interview with the CEO from, you know, Robin Hood. And we're not going to really talk about how that went because, you know, you can just go look on Twitter and look, go look on Reddit and, and see how that went. But shout outs to your boy Elon Musk. I actually think this is really, really good for Tesla because now you're getting all these new new traders to enter the market. You're getting all these new people to download the Robinhood app for the first time. And people are super excited to, to, you know, get into the market and they're trading. And, you know, there's a lot of people that are like, man, this is really cool. I should have been doing this years ago. And soon, soon, the pumping and dumping, it'll, it'll phase out. Just like the whole cryptocurrency wave, you know, back in 2007, we had so many people jumping in cryptocurrency and People were making so much money in cryptocurrency, and guess what? Cryptocurrency it crashed, and you know people lost a lot of money, and then you know people just kind of ran away. They, they just kind of you know dropped cryptocurrency for a minute. I think a similar thing is going to happen, but I don't think it's going to happen the same way it did with cryptocurrency. I think that a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, but I think a, a large percent of people will lose money in these penny pick penny stops and these pump and dumps going on actually the pump and dumps and the penny stocks they've kind of been down for the past two weeks and i'm talking about the youtubers that used to make these pump and dump videos where they talk about penny stocks and they would you know get people to invest in these penny stocks and you would see it go up and then you would see the price go down and like the youtuber would basically take all their money invest it into the stock and then go on youtube and make a video and when they make a video the stock price would run up the youtuber would sell their position as they got all of their, you know, subscribers and everyone by the position and they make money and they, they just keep doing that over and over and over. But for the past couple of weeks with whole GameStop and a, um, um, GameStop and uh, AMC theaters, you know, I really haven't been noticing the penny stocks, you know, going up like crazy, which is pretty amazing. Also, let's talk about something else, guys. Let's talk about um, SoFi and Chamath. So if you guys don't know, Chamath is a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe he's Indian or he's from Sri Lanka. And he is uh, he is behind this spec that is uh, SoFi uh, SoFi. Basically, SoFi is a competitor to Robinhood. Actually, I don't really really see SoFi as a competitor to Robinhood because I, I, I look at Robinhood is it's almost in its own class. 
even with this drama that's going on today, I still look at Robin Hood in its own class. With SoFi, it's a little bit more built out already. Like they have like, you know, in their app, they have like insurance in integrated within their app and they have like a credit card and they just have more services like, you know, a 401k and stuff like that. And of course, Robin Hood doesn't offer any of those features. And I believe there's a reason why Robin Hood don't, doesn't offer any of these features. This is my whole guess. This could totally be wrong. But my whole guess is Robinhood is going to wait till they go public and then they're going to slowly roll out features. And after they're after they go public, these new features that they roll out with, you know, push up their stock price over time. This is just my this is just my guess for Robinhood, because you look at a, I look at a company like SoFi, so, SoFi, you know, the spec that um, Chamath is behind. I'm just thinking, like, what new can they come out with? Like, they freaking got everything, like, already in their app. Like, it's it's already there. Like, what 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 new products are they going to come out with that's going to excite us? At least with Robinhood, once they go public, they can have a lot of products to come out to excite us. Like, a lot of products. You know, they can just come out with a credit card a couple months later, and then they can you know, do 401ks and they could, you know, partner with like lemonade insurance and they can offer insurance or they can just do their own insurance. Like it's, it's sky's the limit with Robin Hood. It's literally sky's the limit. You know, we'll, we'll just have to see how it goes. So with Chamath, Chamath, you know, sort of bad mouth Robin Hood. And of course, Chamath is going to bad mouth Robin Hood because Chamath has, you know, this, this spec and it's, it's, you know, it's so far and, of course, Chamath want people to leave from Robin Hood and go to SoFi. Like, of course. But if you think that if you leave Robin Hood and just run over to SoFi, if you think your problems are going to be solved, no, your problems are not going to be solved. You, you know, you can pretty much have the same situation going on with SoFi because these are small brokers. Your app brokers are small brokers. That's what they are. Robin Hood is, is, is a pretty big one. But like, you know, your Webull, your SoFi, um, you know, Cash App. You know, like the, one of the bigger companies that, you know, Charles Schwab and Fidelity, they use. So, yeah, you can stay with the smaller apps. I'm going to stay with the smaller apps. You know, I got defer I'm def definitely diversified with Robinhood. I don't think I'm going to add any more money to my Robinhood account. I just think I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I'm not going to close it. I'm not going to sell any shares. I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I think the situation with Robinhood will get better over time. I just think, you know, this week has been a crazy week with with um you know with the whole all the drama that's been going on in the markets and i think over over time this is going to be great for tesla because with all these new investors with all these new investors getting burned in some of these stocks eventually i believe more and more and more that retail money is going to make it back over to good stocks yeah i think more and more that money is going to slowly make it back over to you know your better stocks your stocks like your apple your, your you know your amazon your beyond meat your tesla you know your stocks that actually do something stocks that actually have potential stocks are going somewhere you know especially stocks like you know a company like apple or microsoft something that pays a dividend and something that has a proven track record you know i see all these new investors getting into the market and i see them getting into the market to make a hundred percent in a month and that is just that has been going on, but that is just not how the stock market really works. 2020, I don't think we're going to ever see a year like this again. I mean, I could be wrong, but I mean, 2020, I've never seen the stock market go up the, the way it did. Like, it, it just went up insane. And, you know, I, I think, you know, right now, investors are just or not necessarily investors, but, you know, traders are just looking for that next thing to make 100% in a week and 100% in a month. And, you know, for the past couple of months, like there have definitely been those, you know, hot stocks that have been flying up where you can make, make a quick buck. But I believe eventually it's going to cool out. And a lot of that money is going to, you know, either make it what make its way over to, you know, your better stocks that are actually doing good because Tesla is, is a freaking amazing company. And I, I think this is this is great, you know. I think this is great. More than that, more that money is probably gonna make it back over to you know these better companies. This is just my guess, you know, over time. But guys, we'll have to see how things go. Anyway, I just want to make a different video. I want to make a freestyle video. Like I'm actually making a vlog today, so I'll, you know, I'll come out with a vlog. But I uh, just want to make a quick sit down video talking about my whole idea of what's going on with the markets because people ask me all the time and. You know, just wanted to talk about a couple of different things, spill my, my, my beans. But if you guys like these videos, if you want me to do more videos like this where I just sit down and just talk about a couple of different things that's for real going on in the world, 
um, let me know in the comments below. Just let me know and I'll, I'll sort of make more videos like this because I kind of like this content, just sitting down, talking, just saying what I think is going on. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, yo.